So I don't know about you guys, but I totally have had this thought cross my mind during this whole situation where I'm like, man, because you guys know how I recently went to Bora Bora for my birthday in November. I'm like, man, imagine I was in Bora Bora when all this shit happened. And then I was- What a perfect there. place to be, quarantine. That would have been amazing, but- And they're not allowed to leave? Yeah. You're gonna be there for like a month? Exactly. Cool. So there are, there's this couple who has been interviewed by the New York Times and they were the last couple in their resort in the Maldives. And so what? they had to be there. They, okay, so they went for- Oh their no, honeymoon. the tragedy. <laughs> so they went for their honeymoon and they got there March, I think the 22nd. It was the 22nd. There were a lot of people at that same resort where they were like, oh my God, we gotta get home. Like, this is crazy. Like they're they're closing the airports, they're closing the It's borders. probably worse at home than it is at Bora Bora. So this couple well, was this like suckers. Oh, yeah, well, these. So this couple was like suckers. We're gonna have this place for ourselves. No, this couple was like, oh shit, we gotta get home too. Oh. So they're from <laughs> South Africa. And so they ended up hitting up their the embassy there. And they were saying like, oh yeah, there's about 40 other South Africans in the Maldives, like through, scattered throughout the islands. And so your current option right now, because the airport has closed, you can get a private like chartered jet, oh. but you would have to pay at your own expense, which is $104,000. Oh oh. So you can God. split it up between the two dozen couples that are there. But there were a lot of people that were like, fuck no, we're not gonna, we're not gonna pay. So the more people bail, the more expensive it gets yeah. per person. And so this particular couple, they decided like, fuck, like what do we do? So they were almost going to get on a speedboat and go into the main island to see what they can, like how they can get out. Oh. And, but the resort said, if you leave, we can't let you come back. Oh. So make your decision. So then they decided, fuck, let's okay, let's, let's not go, let's stay. What about all the people at the resort? Did they all leave too? That's the thing. The resort has a policy that no employee can leave until the last guest has left. Oh. So this couple was the very last two people left. So everyone hates them. <laughs> yeah. The entire resort. Yeah, well, would. hold on. If I honestly, I looked at the situation and I'm like, out of everyone involved here, the best case scenario for like the best person that benefited would be the employees because they got paid throughout the whole oh, time. They get to keep their jobs? They get to keep their jobs, they get to get paid. And after this couple finally, they were finally able to leave, um, the the employees there had to still stay there for another two weeks to be quarantined, like make sure that they oh. didn't have anything before they can leave the resort. But they're getting paid that whole time. So That's it seems dope. like they got the sweetest deal. Yeah. And, and they really probably got hard. to stay at the at the rooms. They were just chilling with each other. Yeah, yeah there's no work they were to do. I get sick no one's going in or out. While they're yeah. getting paid. They see it that yeah. way? And there's so, probably no Rona there. <laughs> that they're so like let happy me, and let stuff. Me, I want to read the, this like little excerpt of the New York Times because just painting this scene, I was reading this and I'm like, oh my God, that's crazy. Can you do it in a New York accent? No. Uh, so this says, the resort's full staff are at hand because of the pre presence of the two guests. Government regulations won't allow any Maldivians to leave the resort until after they undergo a quarantine that follows their last guest departure, accustomed to the flow of the bustling workday because during this time of year, it's like, at capacity, this place is at Oh capacity. my God. Most of the staff, having grown listless and lonely, dot on the couple ceaselessly. They're, They're like kings and queens and yeah. shit. Their room boy checks on them five times a day. The dining crew made them an elaborate candlelit dinner wow. on the beach. Every night, performers still put on a show for them in the resort's restaurant wow. where they're just the only two audience members. At breakfast, nine waiters loiter by their table. Hostesses, wow. bussers, and assorted chefs circulate conspicuously like commoners near a celebrity. The couple has a designated server, but others still come by to chat during their meals, topping off water glasses after each sip, offering drinks, oh even, I would even hate the that. brimming cocktail glasses yes, stand in full view. Uh, the diving instructor pleads with them to go snorkeling whenever they pass him by. <laughs> do you want to go diving? Give me do something to do. Yeah. Give me something to do. So like, they should have had uh, one of us do this because we would be way more creative than to just take all that shit. Well, at least for me. 
I do that for one day and I'll be like, all right, tomorrow it's gonna be your turn and we're gonna perform and everyone just fucking rotate. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I wanna fucking be a cook for a day and then a diving instructor for a day. I don't think there are like policies. That's how Joe here. burns down the whole resort. Yeah. yeah. I'll perform. I'll, I'll teach fire. you how to dive. Yeah. <laughs> I'm doing like a Polynesian fucking <laughs> fire dancing show and shit. Yeah. <laughs> the whole resort for fucking burns down. Funny. So this is the couple from South Africa. Can't even see them, dude. That looks beautiful wherever that is. You can't, you still can't see them. <laughs> it reminds me of- Okay, okay, I see them now. <laughs> I thought they were like blocking themselves because they're so ashamed of <laughs> how fucking where, awesome. Where is the mouthpiece? It's by the Indian, like- Yeah, it's on the uh, side of India. Yeah. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah, that place oh. is beautiful. Yeah, that's where Tim and Chia had their, their, it's the, their li oh, little dude. islands in the Indian Ocean. Oh my God, that is so Yeah, look, cool, he's man. like the only one in the entire restaurant, where this time of year it's like jam packed, ass. like packed, packed. I bet pack. he had bomb ass food. I mean, the chef like only needs to focus on his dish. They have an excess amount of food, probably, because they prepare for that amount of guests. They, I think the lim the capacity is like 180 guests or something. Is it all inclusive? I don't know, but the thing is that they did mention that they. Even though it is like a discounted rate, they still are getting charged every single day that they spend there. So for them, they're like, fuck, like, you know, they're new, newlyweds. They're like, damn it, we were saving, we had a down payment for a house every day that we're here, it's eating at our savings. But is that cheaper than flying back though? See? It sounds like 104,000. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Amazing. I'd rather yeah. just stay there. Yeah. But so did everyone else charter the plane and they're the ones that said fuck it? No, so eventually the embassy hit him up on April 5th and said like, okay, in one hour you need to have all your shit packed because you're gonna get on a speedboat. Like they're James Bond? Yeah. Do -do -do -do. I would have been like, nah, I'm staying, fuck y'all. Yeah, so then, uh, <laughs> no, because you're gonna go broke. You're getting charged every, because they have to pay the staff too. Well, they weren't as creative as me, which is, I'll work one day. You make your money back. Yeah. <laughs> you so I'm gonna work there. So where's the money coming from for and them? One of the staff there are gonna guess there, and we're gonna take turns. Or they could they could open a OnlyFans account and charge all the staff mm. for wow. their nudes and make money. <laughs> so eventually they were taken to taken to another five five star rest resort. Um, that's where the rest of the South Africans left in the Maldives were there, about two two dozen in all. And the local government told them that they would subsidize a large portion of their the cost of their stay. So I don't know. I'm kind of curious. I'm like, how much? Like, did it end up saving a you money because of all this? Like the vacation you were gonna take anyway? I love listening to these stories where people just benefit from a crisis, <laughs> and you're just like, what a happy accident. Is it a benefit though? Do they have access to Netflix and Amazon? And Hulu. Probably. Yeah. I, would, I would go crazy if, I, if yeah, all I had to do was to sit at the beach every single day. I don't know how Dude, you I'd find some fun <laughs> shit to do. Honestly, it's so gorgeous, but you do get, kind of get a little bored. Because there were some days where I was just there and I'm like, because I was trying not to get on my phone at all. Yeah. I was just there, like, staring at the beautiful water and I'm like, now what? I fucking jack off on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I realized during this quarantine, I don't have the ability to be bored. I'll find some shit. I will I will chase a crab for hours. <laughs> That's true. You know what I mean? Like I'll find some shit. Like start I, a charity. Yeah, I'll do something. To, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll find something. Like I'll, I could already snorkel for just like four hours. You just follow a fish around, you know? And then you come out and then my back's sunburnt. I'm like, damn, I was in the water for that long. I will fucking yeah. create a dance troupe with Maldivians. <laughs> And we will battle like the fucking lunch crew. You know what I mean? Like, Dude, I wanted to die. just be in the water all day, every day. You're gonna turn badly, into a crab. But I couldn't because of my sun allergy. Like my skin uh, was fucked. Like I came back with like so many yeah, rashes. Yeah, full body Just suit. swim at night. Yeah, you just need a wetsuit. Yeah. A burkini, you know? A I need to get one of those because a What's a burkini? It's a, the burka, but you know? Uh, like Nike waterproof. makes them. Yeah. <laughs> burkini. So, really? Everyone will just think you're Muslim, that's all. That's you kind of do look Middle Eastern. Yeah. You gotta not show your blue hair and then True. give it away. Yeah. But man, I don't know. When I read this, I'm like, oh, I'm so jealous. I was jealous of the girl because I'm like, she probably doesn't have a sun allergy and she's, like, she's enjoying the water. That's so cool. During the day, like. I don't know if I'd be <laughs> ever bored of that situation. Because that's what that's all I want is like not have to pay for things, and then just like live like a king. Well, they are paying for they it. They are paying. But they said a big part of it is being 
discounted, you know right? How big? Yeah. Big, big part. So when you're eating it and you're like, Good old 10%. I'm not paying full price. That's yeah. almost like free. <laughs> you just want the discount. Yeah. Dude, the more you stay there, the more you save. The, the best things in it. the world is, are like luxury things at a couponed rate. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's killer right there, dude. Yeah. Imagine like you get something like, like a Lamborghini, right? For the price of a Toyota Corolla. Wouldn't you be proud? Huh? Do you feel that's worth it? Hell yeah! You got a Rolex right now that was like... If it was two cents? <laughs> and I could resell that motherfucker for 10 grand? Yeah, you could resell it, but see you can't resell it. If I can't? No, it's still it's still a real Rolex, right? It's not like... Two cent Rolex. But it's like getting a gift. Like a, a real life. But you know they spend money on it. <laughs> Makes you feel good. So for you, Nadim, you get the satisfaction of knowing a lot of so money went into this. No, just sometimes. So Nadim has to get a hooker because he will refuse a free blowjob. <laughs> Unless I'm paying or she's paying. She's paying to give you a blowjob. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. It's like a uh, Podrick from there Game has of to Thrones. Be something extreme. Podrick. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> no, but it, sometimes it's like, damn, like this money went to it. But obviously, I'd rather go for like the discount and stuff. Oh, you didn't. You don't feel like you worked hard for it. Nah, just like sometimes it's just like. People would want to brag that this Rolex I got for thirty-five thousand. They spent the money. They have it's like that luxury. I brag the opposite way. Yeah. Yeah. I got this shit for two cents, bro. <laughs> <laughs> two cents. And then you try to sell it to them for ten. They're like, no. Well, it's worth ten. It's so same. fuck you. Yeah. I got a deal. You're not gonna get it. Dude, I got gym equipment for a bag of lemons. <laughs> <laughs> I got a punching bag. I got some fucking weights. That's tight, dude. Oh, yeah. None of these like I'm not gonna buy your gym equipment. After. I was like, you got it for a bag of lemons. Jokes on you. <laughs> these gym, this gym equipment is gonna last way longer than those lemons. <laughs> At least like a week longer. Yeah, and these <laughs> keep growing, homie. Like next year, I'll get more gym equipment. <laughs> You're growing your own uh, your own money then. Yeah, that's a money there tree right there. Go.